Alright guys, check it out. We're gonna learn to play a little jam song from the Grateful Dead. It's uh, one of my favorite songs on definitely my favorite Grateful Dead album. And as a little uh, treat, you guys are gonna get introduced to my 1959 uh, Martin 018. I just picked this up off of Craigslist uh, a few days ago. It needs a neck reset. It's hard to play. But man, I love the sound of this guitar. It's got so much mana to it. Uh, anyway, we're going to have some fun. This is Easy Wind from Working Man's Dead. It's pretty easy. Um, now this is geared towards, towards the soloist like myself. I don't have much desire to make music with other people. Um, and when I do play with other people, I kind of suck. Because um, I... I never play with other people. I just I like to play music, uh, just me. That way you're never late for band practice, right? But anyway, there's uh, some rhythm to it, which is crucial. There's basically just two chords in an E minor scale. Uh, there's a little bit of an intro. <laughs> How I do it is it by the book no but I don't care um, but anyway the I guess starting with the intro is a good way to, to begin this but so it's just two E's the then on the A string just walk down then on the uh, second fret A string Slide into your E7. E7 is a pretty easy chord. It's for the beginners out there. You do a C, add your pinky to the G string third fret, and move the whole system up to the seventh fret. You can mute with your thumb. See how my thumb is is not letting the E, the bass E ring. The next chord is an A, 7th, which is an A bar chord with your pinky removed. Alright, so if you got these two chords, E7, A7, you got the song pretty much, right? I've been born in a shiny black steel jackhammer, been chipping them rocks for the great highway. Except we don't do this because we incorporate rhythm into our, our music. You don't want to be like this. No, we're a little bit more advanced than that. In fact, our right hand replaces a drummer. We don't need a drummer because we're soloist, right? This song rhythm is kind of crucial. See the difference? We don't need a bass player either, right? Listen. that rhythm up. It's what I call a right-handed song. It's all about the rhythm. So anyway, Stop falling that 
is kind of easy you just uh, when it's time I just go to a basic a shuffle remember this when the first day we got our guitar uh, we learned this talking and you walk it down to A but you never heard a word G bass and send it back to E7 and you keep it talking but you never out of the E minor scale and if, if you keep up the rhythm you get away with murder it's called faking it right So I have to fake it. that scale keep up that rhythm yeah your elbow's gonna hurt yeah your finger's gonna I don't ever use a pick so my finger gets raw but it's so worth it so uh, find something that works for you you know I have fat little stubby fingers that don't do what I tell them to do anyway story of my life but when it comes time Everybody's favorite part of the song comes up, right? Got to find a woman be good to me. Won't hide my liquor, try to serve me. That's 
much the gist of the song. It's two chords. It's a pretty easy chorus. Um, you can get creative. Like I say, if you know, just Google it. Google E minor guitar scale, and these images will pop up. You can pick anything you want. If you keep that rhythm going, you can't go wrong. Uh, put some soul into it. I mean, I can't stress enough. It's a right-handed song. It's a rhythm song. The rhythm lets you get away with anything. Uh, this song makes me feel good. It's like the best feeling on earth when you can just uh, fake. I, I admit I'm faking it. But I can fake jam this song. Um, people love this song. Uh, yeah, just have some fun with it. Let me know what you think.